Cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> Hello. It doesn't look much like the best cafe in the world today. It looks more like a, like a mess. Yeah. We're trying to find something to wear for a fancy dress party we've been invited to by Pierre and Sally from the vegetable shop. It's very kind of them to invite us, but we can't find a thing to dress up in. What about that tea towel? Maybe you could use it as a superhero's cloak. Oh, yeah. Supercook Ben to the rescue. I'll solve all your mealtime mysteries. Ha <laughs> ha. No. No, it's it's too small for a superhero's cloak. Mm. Oh well. Oh, oh, what about this? It could be uh, oh, <laughs> a hat. What kind of hat? Um, oh, a wizard's hat. Abracadabra, alakazam, ping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's too small for a wizard's hat. Mm. Oh, do you want to try it on? No, thank you. You can make a tent out of that for me. <laughs> well, what are we going to wear for the fancy dress party, then? <sighs> oh, aha! A customer. Come on, Small, it's cooking time. I'm on my way. <laughs> Who's our customer, Small? Wow, that's a surprise. It's a man carrying a top hat. I don't know who that could be. He's wearing a suit and a red cloak and he's carrying a stick. Hmm. It's Malcolm. Malcolm the magician? Wow, in our cafe? He's very clever. He can do all sorts of magic tricks like pull a bunch of flowers from up his sleeve. <laughs> or magicking a rabbit out of a hat. Yes, and he's in our cafe. You think if he was hungry, he could just magic up a sandwich or something? Well, maybe he's heard how wonderful our cooking is, Ben. That we make just the right thing for just the right person. So the question is, what can we cook for Malcolm the Magician? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a magician called Malcolm who was practicing hard for a big performance. He was going to be doing magic tricks at Josh's party. Josh wanted a pet rabbit for his fifth birthday and Malcolm was going to give him a big surprise by pulling the rabbit out of his top hat. But just as he was about to start practicing, the telephone rang. Malcolm put down his wand and went to answer the phone. But when he returned, he couldn't find his wand anywhere. I happened to be passing by and I could see that poor Malcolm was very upset. How could he do his tricks without his wand? I suggested he tried using something else. Malcolm the Magician tried a straw. He tapped on the top hat, tap, but all that came out was a woolly sock. Josh didn't want a woolly sock. He tried a wooden spoon, tap, but all that came out was cake. Josh didn't want cake. He tried a twig, tap, but all that came out was a plant. Josh didn't want a plant. I knew it was wrong to laugh, but it really was funny watching all the silly things coming out of the top hat. I started to giggle, and then I chuckled, and then I laughed and rolled around the floor. That's when I spotted the wand. It was underneath the magician's sofa. Malcolm was thrilled. At last he had found his magic wand. Josh was very excited to see a magician at his party, especially one with such a fine wand and top hat. Malcolm tapped his top hat. Tap, 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 and guess what? Out came 
A rabbit! Just what Josh wanted. It was his best birthday party ever. Thanks to Malcolm the Magician. Little Cook Small to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. What a great story. Oh, I'd love a wand. Ding! Way! <laughs> I'm back! Now I think we should use our special magic to bake something really tasty for Malcolm the Magician. Hmm. But what to cook for a magician? Hmm. Oh, we got... Oh. <gasps> I know. Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course. The Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Well, well. Look at this. Oh, yes. Magic bread. Brilliant! Read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need flour. Aha! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Not flowers, Ben. Ooh. Flour for cooking with. OK, then. Let's see. Flour. Oh, there we are. Flour. Ta-da! Yeast. Yeast, ta-da! Oil and chocolate. Oil, ta-da! Here we go. Hold on. There's no chocolate. You haven't eaten it, have you, Ben? <laughs> Not this time, little cook. Why don't you try and magic some? Oh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh! Oh, it's not working, little cook. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just have to whiz off and get some. Won't be long. Good idea. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Woohoo! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. This is going to be really exciting. A chocolate factory. Aha, oh, look at all the lovely runny chocolate. The chocolate has been poured into a mould to make lots of little chocolates. Now the runny chocolate in the mould has to be put into the cold fridge for a while to go hard. Oh, yummy! Here's some white chocolate. It's been painted onto another mould. I think it's going to be a white tail. Can you guess what it's going to be? This looks like it could be a nose. Hooray! It's time to pour the chocolate into the mould. Have you guessed what it is? It's a bunny rabbit! He has to be put into the cold fridge now to go hard. Oh, the little chocolates have been taken out of the fridge. They've gone hard. Oh, look, they're baby bunnies. And here comes the big bunny rabbit. Turning runny chocolate into hard chocolate is like magic. I can't wait to tell Ben. See you later. Zing, zang, zoom, poof. Ha, 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 ta da. Bravo, Ben! Bravo! Oh, thank you, thank you. Did you have a good trip, Small? Oh, it was brilliant, Ben! I saw how chocolate's made. First it's melted so it goes all runny and gooey. <laughs> and then it's put into a fridge where it's made hard. <laughs> you would have loved it, Ben. I know how much you love chocolate. Oh, yes. Well, did you bring some back? I did. Some for the recipe. Whoosh, whoosh. Ta-da! And some for you. 
Whoosh, whoosh. Ta-da! Oh, thank you. A bunny, just like a magician would have. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates, gold princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to magic bread? You do. There was plain flour, 225 grams, yeast, one sachet, water, 150 millilitres, oil, two teaspoons, and chocolate, one bar. Whoopee! Let's get started. First, we're going to sieve the flour into a bowl. This is a sieve. Can you see all the little tiny holes? They take out all the lumps and bumps from the flour. In it goes. There we are. And we give it a good shake. <laughs> Pick up Ben! You're supposed to put the flour in the bowl, not over me! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Small. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Ben. <coughs> I'll just go and clean myself up. Now it's time to add the yeast. In it goes. Now the oil. And then the water. There we are. Now make sure the water's warm first, as this will help the bread get bigger. Mix it round with your wooden spoon. I've cleaned myself up, Ben, but I still can't find anything to wear for the fancy dress party. Except this! Ta-da! I don't think so, Small. <laughs> Our dough's ready. Dough is what we call the mixture. Time to knead it, Ben. Oh, right, OK. <sighs> What are you doing? I'm getting my knees out ready to knead the dough. <laughs> Kneading has nothing to do with your knees, Ben. It's about how you mix it with your hands. Oh, right. That sort of kneading. <laughs> oh, we need to add a bit of flour to the board for that. Like this, you mean? That's right, Ben. Oh, there we are. It's all stretchy. Look at that. Oh, look how much it stretches. Now, after you've kneaded it for a while, we're going to put it into a bowl. There we are. In it goes. Cover it. And now, we're going to leave it in a warm place. Oh! I'll set the timer. For one hour. I shall now make the dough reappear. Hoo-hoo! Ha-ha! <laughs> there we are. On it goes. Take that off. Oh, small, look! It's twice the size. Have you been up to your magic tricks again? <laughs> no, Ben. That's what happens to dough when you put it into a warm place. It gets bigger. That shows the yeast is working. Oh, wow! Have you greased a little baking tin? As if by magic. Pop in some dough. Then some chocolate pieces. And cover it up with some more dough. There we are. And into the oven it goes 
which have preheated to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. In it goes for 30 minutes. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. <laughs> It's ready. It looks fantastic. Now we just need to leave it to cool down. Is it cool yet? Ah, all cooled down and delicious. I think we've magicked up a treat here, Ben. Oh, yes. Magic bread. But hang on. What's so magic about it? Have a look inside. Looks like ordinary bread. But there's a chocolatey surprise in the middle. Yummy! Come on, Ben. Let's pop it off to Malcolm the Magician. OK. Magic bread coming through. There. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like Malcolm the Magician enjoyed his magic bread. And look, Small, he's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my perfect magic bread. And what a lovely chocolatey surprise inside. Here's a treat for you. See you at the fancy dress party later. Ooh! <laughs> <gasps> Wow. wow! A magician's hat. Brilliant! Have a look inside, Ben. All right. Oh. Oh, small look. It's fancy dress outfits for us both. Brilliant! A superhero's outfit for me. And a wizard's outfit for me. And it sounds like Malcolm the magician is doing a performance at the party. Come on, Small. Let's get changed quickly. I think I can help there. <whistles> How on earth did you do that, Small? Just magic. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon.